For the 100 year old automotive industry, change is normal, but nothing compares to the change we are seeing at the moment. And for a legacy car brand with hundreds of thousands of employees, factories all over the world, making this change has proven difficult. But enter the nine year old startup, Leap Motor, who have been able to do what frankly Legacy Auto has not, which is build a cost effective electric city car. Welcome to the future is electric. So say hello to the Leap Motor T03. If you're interested about the interior design, my driving experience will check out the driving video being linked below. In this review, we're discussing exclusively the tech inside the vehicle, starting from the platform, which is the platform 3.0, designed and developed by Leap Motor themselves, as they do actually with 60% of the components in this vehicle, which is an essential philosophy for them because they're able to pass on those cost savings directly to the consumer. So let's talk about what is possibly the most important component in an electric vehicle, the high voltage battery. So it is found at the bottom of the passenger compartment, taking up the length of the vehicle between the wheels and also the width of the vehicle. Now this has a 41 kilowatt hour LFP battery. Now that's very important. So LFP lithium iron phosphate. So clearly there is no cobalt and no nickel in this battery, which makes it safer, but it also makes it cheaper. And that's the important thing here. There are a few disadvantages. Yes, you do get with LFP, like the fact that it cannot charge as fast, but on a battery and car so small, that is not an issue. So Leap Motor actually design the battery pack. They assemble the modules, they design and assemble the battery cooling system and importantly, the battery management system. Now, despite being a startup, right? They managed to put all that together themselves. The battery cells though, they buy from third party suppliers and they're actually using a three supplier approach. They've got CATL, they've got S-Volt and they've got Guaushan, three battery suppliers, all supplying battery cells for this vehicle. 400 volt architecture and of course it comes with an eight year warranty or 160,000 kilometers. But again, going back to the fact that it's LFP means this battery is going to last a very, very long time. So let's talk about the electric motor, a permanent magnet synchronous electric motor found in the front of the vehicle. I've opened it up here so we can have a look. Again, another component designed and built in-house at Leap Motor. Now, all the cars we've seen on the channel, you could say, it feels like every legacy automaker out there said if we're gonna build an electric car, we have to make it feel or try be as fast as a Ferrari. Well, <laughs> Leap Motor looked at that model and said, no, it doesn't. And they went for a very sensible 95 horsepower motor, which is perfect for this size of vehicle and what it's intended to do, an electric city car. Zero to 100 times, still around 12 seconds, so faster than comparable internal combustion models anyway. The impressive thing is the 158 newton meters of torque we're getting because we have an electric motor. So if you're taking this car on the highway and want to pick up speed fast, no problem whatsoever, as you can see in my driving video. So let me tell you what range you can expect out of this vehicle. So the combined WLTP range is 265 kilometers. But what does that mean, combined? Well, combined factors in a mix of highway and city driving. Of course, on the highway, the car is running at higher speeds, using more power and thus resulting in less range. But here in Malta, we have no highways. So this car is actually going to be used in a city urban environment, which means you can actually get more range out of the vehicle up to 395 kilometers, which is the rated WLTP range for urban environments. But what does it work out to in practice? Well, this is a very efficient car. They've done a very good job with that. We've seen other small cars on the channel which do not get the efficiency rating this car gets. But what is it? What is the real world range? Well, I've done a driving test 
in real world conditions in Milan, driving in mainly city streets, but also a bit on the highway as well. And I've backtracked using the efficiency what my range figure would be in that environment. If you want to find out what that is, make sure you check out the driving video being linked below. All right, let's discuss charging in this car. So the charge port is located in the very front of the vehicle, hidden away behind the logo over here. Once you pop it open, you notice there's actually two different charging ports available, your AC and your DC. So AC is what you're gonna charge this car at home and a lot of, on, on a lot of the public network, to be fair. So AC, the car can charge at 6.6 .6 kilowatts, which means a full charge on single phase will take around seven hours. However, more realistically, if you're charging this car at night on single phase, and you have the car charging and a couple of air conditions running in the house, then you're gonna to wanna to opt for a lower or a lesser amount of power. How much is that? So you can go at around 3.4 kilowatts, which means a full charge will be around 12 hours. Now, the car though also has the DC rapid charging option which means you can charge on the public network. The fastest ones we have in motor are 50 kilowatts and this one reaches 48 kilowatts. Essentially the car can charge as fast as the current fastest we have in the public network here in Malta. Full charge in that case under one hour. Another important thing about charging, this is an LFP battery. So you might hear people telling you that they do not charge your battery above 80%. Well, with LFP technology, that is not an issue. You can charge an LFP battery to 100% every time without any problems. So if you're ready to make the leap to an electric vehicle, pun intended, of course, then the T03 offers quite the proposition. Big thanks to Maverick behind the camera, Motors Inc and Leap Motor Motor for their support with today's review. Big thanks to you. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure the like and subscribe button does help out the channel a lot. But as always, I hope I've convinced you that the future is electric.